So the name of my film is Plain Clothes Agents. It's a movie about the aftermath of 2009 presidential elections in Iran. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a political uh, documentary. Uh, it focuses on the force behind, behind the scene and sort of who, uh, who is funding what, what are known as plain clothes agents in Iran, people that go out and sort of oppress people. So that's, that's the subject matter. We don't focus on the elections and the results because I believe there are plenty of documentaries out there about that material, about that stuff. So we mainly focused on uh, what happened on the streets and who was behind it. And why did you want to tell this story? Because my filmmaker friends in Iran are either in jail Can or... Can you say that again? Sorry. Can you do a lead in for me? Like, I wanted to make the story because... Okay. Thank you. Sure. I wanted to make a story because my uh, filmmaker friends in Iran are either in jail or the government has taken their uh, directing licenses away, away from them. So I felt obligated as a filmmaker who, who lives in the U.S., uh, as an Iranian-American director, to, um, to make a documentary about this and give a voice to really to my people. It's not easy to watch your, your country, men and women, uh, get beat up. Um, uh, every night uh, on news channels, various news channels. So that's what motivated me to do it. Um, hopefully with this documentary I can give a little voice to my people. I know it's, it's only 50 minutes, but uh, I think that hopefully uh, the outsiders, people who live outside of Iran, will know a little bit more about what's going on on the inside. Did you find that you had a lot of, um, were people supportive of you making this film, or did you have a lot of people that were kind of uh, trying to suppress what you were doing? Uh, I mean, in, in the U.S., most people, I mean, I should say outside of Iran, most people uh, supported this documentary from day one when I told them about the subject matter. Now, some were obviously a, a, a little bit um, scared because of uh, political ramification of this documentary, so they didn't want to have anything to do with it. But I think uh, even the people in Iran, for the most part, even though they can't talk about it, they do support uh, work such as this one because, after all, they do want the rest of the world to know what's going on over there and the fact that they don't have any uh, freedom of speech. They don't even. They can't even vote for, for who they want to vote for. Uh, so uh, there was a little bit of resistance, but for the most part, everybody's been supportive, um, and it's. I've I've had nothing but great feedback from various festivals, especially Artivist Film Festival. Great. Can you talk a little bit about Artivist, how important it is to, to screen your film at a, a festival like this one? Definitely. I've always been a fan of Artivist Film Festival. Uh, it's just that I, I always thought this is one of, um, one of uh, a, a very few festivals that actually uh, uh, focused on human rights. So uh, I've always been a fan and uh, when I finished Plain Clothes Agents, I decided to sort of send it in, see if, uh, if Artivist is willing to, to sort of screen it. And uh, when I heard back, uh, I was really excited because it, it has, the documentary has gone to a few other festivals, but I think this is basically the festival that focuses on, on human rights. So I, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of Artivist Film Festival and I think you guys do great things and hopefully um, I can be a part of it again in the future for other projects. Great, thank you. And I have actually one more question. Um, What's the future of the film for you, and how can people find out about it or uh, support the, a particular cause you know, that, that's related to the film? Um, so essentially, uh, you can go online to www.plainclothesagents.com or go to Facebook, uh, Facebook slash plainclothes.agents. Um, you can find, you can look at, you can watch the trailers, look at some of the images, uh, some of the screenshots from the film, uh, read the press kit, and we have more information on the website and on the Facebook page regarding future screenings. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.